Here are five logos that I created for the Gestalt assignment. I spaced these logos pretty far apart in the document setup because I knew that some of my logos are going to run off the artboard, like this little G down here and over here. See how they go off the page here and over here. So I knew I'd need some space between my logos. I'll show you where you set that up. It's right here. If you have five artboards, I'm spacing them four inches apart. That's what I did. In the first logo, I created unity among the R and the G just by using the same typeface. This typeface has the distinguishing characteristic of a little curly Q right here on the R and the G. So it repeats in both of these letters. That's the design principle of repetition. By having it repeat, I've created some unity, some rhythm, and some unity. In the second logo, this one here, I used the transform palette to rotate these two letters. So if you hover over palettes, you'll see what they're named. The transform palette has a little box with looks like a dotted border. If you don't see this, you can get your transform palette from the drop down menu. Scroll down these alphabetically and look for transform. The Gestalt principle of closure is employed in both the first and the second one, more in the first one than the second one. A huge part of the G goes off the page. So when it prints, you will not see that, but you'll recognize it as a G anyway. That's what the closure principle is about. The Gestalt principle of continuation is occurring in both of these logos as well because they're touching. And because they're touching, your eye will move right from the R to the G. Over here, right from the R to the G. If they were very separate, that continuation wouldn't be as obvious. If they're separate here, then you don't feel like it's one logo. You feel like it's two letters. So we employ the Gestalt principle of continuation so that you see these two letters as a unified whole. The transform menu, as I mentioned, will allow you to select a letter, type in the amount that you want it rotated. And when you click enter, the rotation will occur. In the fifth logo, I changed the color of the G to white. The color palette's up here. You've used it before. It's in the control panel. So I chose white for this G so that when you look at it, it's cut out of the R. In this assignment, you're allowed to use white or black letters, but you may not use the rectangle tool to create a shape, either black or white. This assignment is letters only. Letters only. Two letters on each page, no more, no less. I'm going to save my document now and demonstrate the three ways that I'd like for you to save this document. The first way is simply to save it as an Adobe Illustrator file. In your title, be sure to include your name and the words Gestalt logo. Please don't use spaces. Use an underscore if you need to simulate space. 
Sometimes instead of that underscore, I just use a capital letter. That helps you to distinguish between two words. Save these into a documents folder. Create a work folder for all of your work in this class. And save this again as an Adobe Illustrator document. You don't have to type the AI. It will appear there when you choose this file format. So I've saved my work as an Adobe Illustrator file. Now I need to pick which one is my favorite. I think it's this one, Artboard number 5. So I'm going to save just Artboard number 5 as a PDF so that I can upload it to the discussion board. Save as. Down here we'll choose PDF. And in range, I'm going to choose just number 5, just page 5. I'll name this with a numeral 5 at the end. So now I've saved one for the discussion board. Now I'm going to save it one more time. I'm going to save all these pages as a PDF so that I can upload them to my digital portfolio. Save as PDF all pages. So I'll put make that plural so that I'll know it's all of them. And that's it. Now if I look in my work folder, I've got the Adobe Illustrator version which will have all five pages. I've got the fifth logo that's a one-page PDF. And I've got all the logos as a PDF to upload to the digital portfolio.